Hello everyone, Pastor Greg Pufal here just to give you a little bit of God's Word. But before that, just a quick announcement. For all of you parents, you understand that we didn't have school the last two days of this week. But I did hear some people ask the question, does that mean that church itself has been canceled? And the answer is no. We are still going to have our regular scheduled, uh, regularly scheduled church services Thursday, Saturday, to on Sunday. Uh, we are still going to do that. We're not going to have the all school sing. That has been postponed for now. But church as scheduled will go on. Bible class as scheduled will also go on. However, the Faith Quest program that we do uh, during Bible class, we've decided it might be best to not do that because the classes would be still together as we have first through third, for instance, and four to six classrooms together. So we thought maybe it would just be a, a, a good thing to not have for just this one week. We will pick up Faith, Faith Quest the following week, uh, but just wanted to let you know that. And finally, one announcement and a reminder for all those who would like to go to the youth rally this year. Our first meeting will be held after the late service this coming Sunday. So after the service on Sunday, meet in the commons and we will meet to discuss the youth rally as well as some other items on that list. Have you ever felt inadequate? We would never want to admit to that, right? No matter what we do, we're going to be the best at it. I'm going to be the, the best baseball player, the best football player. I'm going to be the best student. I'm going to be the, the best musician. I'm going to be the best at my, my, my job. I'm going to be the best as a boss. I'm going to be the best neighbor or friend or whatever it might be. We all want to be the best at whatever it is we do. But are we really the best? And are we really not inadequate? You see, even though it hurts to hear that, even though it hurts to admit it, the truth is we are inadequate. And it's not necessarily the world that preaches that message to us. Maybe you've heard it wherever you work. Maybe you feel it when you don't feel like the perfect dad or mom that there is out in the world. But there's another place that makes us feel a little bit inadequate. Just open your Bible and start to read. And you start to read something like from Leviticus chapter 19. God says this, Be holy because I, the Lord your God, am holy. God, can't you see that I'm, I'm not holy? Can't you see that I'm inadequate when it comes to this? Why are you preaching this message to me? Well, here's the not-so-secret secret. I am inadequate. And again, it hurts to hear that, hurts to be preached about that. God's word points out that truth and it's everywhere. I am inadequate. And it isn't just what I do which makes me inadequate. Like I'm not the best dad or I'm not the best pastor, or I'm not the best neighbor, or I'm not the best husband, whatever it might be. It's what I am that makes me inadequate. It, it, it's me. Has the reading of God's word, listening to God's word as it's being read or preached to you in a sermon ever caused you to feel that way? Do you know what that is? That's the law. That's the law preaching to your heart. It doesn't just show me where I have failed or where I do wrong things or make terrible decisions. That law convicts me of the truth. I am inadequate. It's not just the world that preaches that message to me, but I'm inadequate before God. It hurts. It hurts to preach. It's that truth. And that truth is found in God's word. But please don't stop there. You see, God's word doesn't stop there. It, you can open up to another part, a more important part, a more powerful part, because this part changes you. It changes me forever. Open up your Bibles and you will see the gospel. The other part of God's word, not just the law that convicts us and shows us how inadequate we are, but open up the gospel. Do you feel inadequate? But then listen to what God says and speaks to your heart. He says, Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. God has called you. He called you to to take a little journey, to come with him to see the other side of the truth. The law is the truth. 
We aren't adequate by ourselves, but we're not by ourselves. God tells us we are redeemed. That's a fancy church word meaning we are bought back, redeemed by Jesus, redeemed by the very blood, redeemed at the place where all of our inadequacies, they go away. They get taken away from us. There at the cross. Redeemed, bought back by Jesus. Through Jesus, God changes you. He has redeemed you. He summoned you. He makes you adequate. Completely adequate in his eyes. All oh, the truth still stands. I will not be the, the perfect pastor or husband or brother or son or neighbor or friend or father. But that doesn't matter so much. Since God said something to me, and he said something to you, in Jesus, we are adequate. More than adequate. We are perfect. And God says, you are mine. May the message of God's word fill your hearts with joy to know that even though the world preaches to us that we are inadequate, God preaches to us a different message. You are adequate more than that. You are perfect. You are his. Redeemed because of Jesus. God bless you all. Have a great day.